Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a bah, to a Lego Star Wars review, and this one's on the Gino Shinkan and Sessie Tin's Jedi Starfighter, of which from 2012, of course. So now, on first up for the minifigs, well, ones that came with Gino Shinkan, Gino Shinkan, of course. First up is a uh, Phase One Commander Gree, which. And of course, helmet piece, same as all other Phase 1 clone troopers, with the uh, little helmet ports, of course. But however, his torso print, leg printing, all looks quite good for how it is. Also similar to most other uh, Phase 1 clone troopers as well. And of course, wielding a traditional blaster bit. And underneath is... The traditional clone face for the uh, Clone War style clone troopers for that. Not sure why it could have been different, but whatever. And the next of which is Clone Wars variant of Ferris Ockby, who which did come in the uh, Balaji Gnosis set the year prior, but however, but this time, but instead of a black hood piece, a dark blue hood piece of which, and of course. Face print to it, still the Clone Wars style for that. And the uh, torso printing all looks quite good for how it is. Well, especially for the time, of course, and also wielding the blue lightsaber, of course. Then have a traditional D notion, which the headpiece, quite similar to the original 2003 versions of them, but also that came in a couple other sets the following year, of course. Or actually, that with the G with the Genosian Starfire the year prior, of course. But how are the torso printing? Quite good for how it, really good for how it is, and leg printing as well with that. And of course, both of which wielding the uh, Alien Conquest blaster pieces with the wheel piece and a stud on there, of course. And then last of which is a zombie Genosian, whose uh, torso print leg printing all quite the same as the others, but in darkish gray, of course, and headpiece also the same, but with the uh, white eyes representing undead, of course. And then as for the backside, which do you have? Well, Barris Hoppy does have the cape piece and the two G notions. Do have these clear film pieces used as the wings, which, like we saw, which we also see on Poggle in the uh, Duon Geonosis set the year a year later, of course. So interesting to point out that uh, not only back face printing for each of these. So that's about it with this minifig selection. And now onto the ones that came in the in Sassy Tin's Jedi Starfire, of course. Yeah, so first up we would have a uh, Sassy Tin. Who which would be who which is quite the same as the one that came in the uh, T6 Jedi shuttle the year prior. And and of course wielding the uh, green lightsaber piece and also like that. And then one that is exclusive to this set is Evan Pyel. Or even pile, however. Oh, hang on. Yeah, even pile. Yeah, who is of course has the short legs there, and however torso printing with for the Jedi robes quite good for how it is, and headpiece in the face printing quite good for how it is, and also this. Top headpiece, which kind of like Saucy Tins, but also does the long ears, kind of like Yoda kinda tends to have. But also, it's two separate pieces. For that. Whereas it's a kind of soft rubber material for that. As you see, it does have scar bit going downwards, and although kind of matches up with that, but uh, not sure if it's just me, but 
which kind of goes over it like a lot for that. Like if he were done now, I would expect it to be a, quite better for that. Or, of course. And then last of which we have the uh, Astromech Droid R3D5, of course. Which, as you can see, the torso printing just about the same as R2D2 and most other Astromech Droids, but however, all in green. And of course, of course the main piece is all in regular green. Nice to see there. And as for the back torso printing on both figs, and also back head printing on R3D5, which all of which quite good for quite good for how they are. And of course, uh, even pallials, which with the uh, back ponytail, also quite impressive for how it is, despite being soft, rougher, rubber, of course. But yeah, and that's about it with that. Then first off for the builds is the uh, Genoshin Cannon. <clears throat> which as you see quite different than the uh, first kind of version that we had with the Genoshian fighter in 2003 of course whereas that one was for episode 2 attack of the clones release but this one's for clone wars of course so like, as for the two leg parts which weren't quite like the original version of it but however these do have posability to them which I'll show in a minute yeah, which, as you can see, sort of in this dark nougat kind of place, or burnt orange-ish kind of color to it. And, like, her parts, and also jagged slopes in dark brown on the rest of the part of it. And also does have these kind of curved slopes, also in the burnt orange color, and also this in dark brown for the jagged, for these jagged slopes on top. And also, as I already mentioned, is unlike the previous one, it does kind of curve up and down for that. So you can position it however you want. But yeah. But then the rest of which is this large platform here. And which has a bit of gray and dark brown rounding and jagged wedges going on there. And also lot extra space to stand a Geonosian mini pick onto and take control of the levers there, of course. And then on to, and of course have a jagged or curved slope piece on there and a couple of satellite dish pieces like the other version and bow droid arms with these pieces acting as extra greebles, of course. And then ending up to various technic bits being the front part of the cannon even though it's not an actual firing part of it, but the actual ammunition's right underneath for that. Which, for those little rods in the back part, could you press on them and shoot right off for that. So, of course, nice to see kind of hidden there. Even though if this were done now, probably expect a, what do they call it, a Springer launchers, of course. Also, for that to mention, See, like one thing that I all still like about this set is perfect symmetry for that, like these, uh, like the gray dish pieces on both sides and everything for that. So, if you're a true symmetry person like I am, this is which pretty much a win for that. And that is about it with Genos and Canon. And now on to Sassy Tin's Jedi Starfighter, of course. Which, as you can see, build it which quite similar to most Jedi Starfighters we've oftentimes had over time, but in this time it is actually in dark green, white, and a little uh, yellow or gold as well. So, like, like as for the or let's start with the nose area for that, which, as you see, done with a few various long wedge pieces like you'd oftentimes expect for these. And also a long slope piece with a long sticker on it, but there's very few stickers in this set, of course, and 
then further upwards do have a, a couple of or a few quick fire missiles as with the gray cone tip pieces but however these of which you can like move up and downwards just a little bit but actually it's not a lot get two on top and also two underneath oh it's kind of kind of neat for how that is so got a little extra firepower for that So, of course, quite different than most previous versions, well, until the 2008 uh, Anakin's one. And then further upwards, as you can see, does have a white tile piece on there, and also another couple of wedge pieces, and as you see, quite good design in this kind of part for that, and also leading up to some curved slopes right on there, and also into the little section here and also the little section where you put the astronaut droid into and of course a common thing with the with the Jedi Starfighters is that you've got to put the astronaut droids in like sideways like that but usually in the show Clone Wars show and such usually go like that way for that so they can never get to perfect that but if they do another one like this I expect it to be like that, of course, just saying. And as for this back section, it has some more slopes going on and quite a good bit of snot going on. Well, especially the large sticker with the Republic symbol on there. Also, this one side, which I forgot to mention, is does have another uh, Republic symbol on there. So, although there is good symmetry throughout the set, but except for one thing. And then as and again for that is to have these couple flat tiles representing like the back tail fin kind of flat of course. And then top part does have that little campy piece that we've previously previously seen in like Atlantis sets a couple years earlier. But you can flip that open. And there's just enough space. Oh yeah enough space to fit Sassy Tint into, of course. And also in there, it does fit in well, and also do have a jagged slope brick, or slope, jagged slope with some printing on it for a control panel, obviously, and closes over him quite well for that. And also, underneath of it, uh, I think there, maybe there was, a, I thought there was a clip part for the lightsaber, but I guess you just don't get that here, but yeah. And now to one of the other main features is that you can take this part off, and it's since it's attached to a couple of pin connections, you can take that off and have it as a little escape route part of it, of course. So that which quite unique and different than most Jedi Starfighter sets. Even though would have liked to see that on some other sets, event on other versions eventually, but yeah. And onto the oh, also forgot to see. This does have this little one little clip kind of part there that you can attach the lightsaber on for storage, of course. Then do and like the and like other verse ones of which can able to like. And fold them upwards, of course. It's in have it in flight mode like so. Let me down them up. So for my overall verdict on these two sets, I think these of which are both really good sets for how they are. Like they like both of which do come with some good minifig selections and also some and and of course with Saucy Tin's Giant Starfighter do have one exclusive fig of 
and then even PayPal, of course, and all the, and also for the uh, Genoshians in Canon. Nice to see Phase 1 Commander Gree, and also, uh, what's it called, a uh, Zombie Genoshian. So you, so you can add a bit of diversity into your Clone Wars set collection as well, and also Clone, or Clone Wars uh, displays and mocks and such. And Jedi Starfire, which is kind of different than other versions, despite the, like, if this was to do yet another, if that was, if this one of which was remade nowadays, probably include the uh, stud shooters, like the 2022 Obi Wan's Jedi Starfire, of course. And also, and everything else, probably be about the same and as good as this one, but yeah. And Evan Pell. Nice to have here, and also being the only exclusive thing for this set, of course. But also, in these sets, of which are still quite good for the $20 that they were at the time, and despite being worth, like, more during to inflation and all, still kind of good for how they are. Like, if they were both remade now, probably be about as good as these, but yeah. And also, these sets do work out as good parts packs of of like various browns and white and dark green of course but yeah uh, yeah that's about it. and so now if you are, and if you are looking to get these sets or if you still have these sets from back in the day well i hope you had some good great memories of them and if you are still looking to get these sets, then I'd say definitely get them. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.